Hello, it's December 1st, 2013. This is my third take. I'm doing a math babbler bit on the powerful numbers integer sequence. And the reason why I got involved with powerful numbers is because uh, Wednesday uh, was the day before Thanksgiving, and I thought attendance in my afternoon computer class on Wednesday was going to be live. It was. And so I was sitting in my office and decided I would make that day a play day. So I went on to the online encyclopedia of integer sequences and started looking at something that we could maybe program in an hour. And I found the powerful numbers integer sequence. Uh, here are the first few powerful numbers. And uh, this sequence is generated by this formula right here. Basically, it's a square number times a cube number. And I wrote down some notes here as to how this integer sequence is generated. So like, set A and B both equal to 1, you get 1. Set A to 2, B to 1, and you get 4. Set A to 3 and B to 1, you get 9. And then if we sort of leave uh, A at 1, B2 gives us 8, A1, B3 gives us 27, A1, B4 gives us 64. Now we'll go ahead and increment A to 2, 2 squared plus B equals 2 here gives us 32, A2, B3 gives us 108, A2, B4 gives us 256, and so on. So this... Uh, lent itself to a very simple brute force algorithm for generating the sequence of powerful numbers. Uh, we went into the Java class and we wrote the program that printed out the first uh, whatever number of powerful numbers and it ended up being a good uh, play day. Uh, I later uh, came home and wrote a different program in C that uh, I added to my math babbler number analyst. So now uh, when I want to create a basic arithmetic bit about a particular number, when I submit that number to my math babbler number analyst, uh, it will check to see if the number is a powerful number or not. And uh, that all seems to be working fine. I find it a little bit interesting that zero, uh, because we have to start A and B at one, uh, zero is not considered a powerful number, at least in this integer sequence. Yet we know damn well that zero is an extraordinarily powerful number, so uh, I found that to be a little uh, strange. But anyway, I sort of like these powerful numbers. Uh, and uh, I think that's about all I have to say about them. And movie.